Hello everyone, welcome to Kumari's Kids channel. Today's story is going to be about Rapunzel. Once upon a time, uh, there was a magical kingdom ruled by a good queen and a king, kind king. They were happy until the queen became very sick. The king had heard of a flower with healing powers and sent his guards to dig it up. Unfortunately, the flower belonged to a wicked woman named Mother Gothel. Losing the flower mother, uh, made Mother Gothel furious. So, when the king and queen had a baby, she stole the child away. Mother Gothel hid the girl, Rapunzel, in a secret tower for almost 18 years. It turned out that Rapunzel's hair, which was magnificently long had the same healing powers as the flower. Mother Gothel used it to keep herself young and never told the girl she wasn't really her mother. The queen and king never forgot their lost princess. Each year on her birthday they sent lanterns floating through the night sky. Rapunzel, I, Rapunzel didn't know that the floating lights she saw from her windows were lanterns. But her dearest wish was to see the lights up close, not just from my window, she said. But Mother Gothel wouldn't let her go. She needed Rapunzel's magic in order to stay young. Instead, she told Rapunzel that the world outside was so scary place, too, da too dangerous for her. Trust me, Pat, she said. Mother knows best. One day, Mother Gothel went away. Before long, someone climbed the tower. He slipped through the window and bang, Rapunzel knocked him out with a frying pan. The man, Flynn Rider, was a thief on the run from the palace guards. Rapunzel searched his beak, his back. Inside was a stolen crown. She tried it on. Rapunzel knew this was her only chance to see the floating lights. Flynn could be her guide outside the tower. When Flynn woke up, she opened, offered him a deal. Deal, Flynn asked. He was still dazed from the frying pan. Rapunzel showed him a painting of lights. Take me to these, she said. Flynn shook his head. No, can do. He did not want to go to the city. He was trying to hide from the Stabbington brothers. To thieves, he had been in business with the palace guards were also still chasing Flynn. Rapun but Rapunzel had a bargaining chip, the crown. She'd written it only in Flynn if Flynn helped her. So Flynn reluctantly climbed down the tower and Rapunzel used her hair to lower herself to the ground. The outside world was like a dream come true to her. She'd never run through grass before or climbed a tree or sat in a field of flowers. Still, she felt nervous. Mother Gothel wouldn't. Mother Gothel had said, the outside world was scary. 
and Mother Gothel wouldn't lie, would she? Flynn tried to frighten Rapunzel. Flynn tried to frighten Rapunzel into going home. He took her on the scariest place. He knew the snuggly duckling. It was a tavern full of thugs. The thugs glared at Rapunzel, but when she sang about her dream of seeing the lanterns, they all became friends. The men even showed Rapunzel and Flynn a secret passage out of the tavern. Just in time, too, the palace guards had tracked down Flynn and his stolen crown. As they were escaping, Flynn heard his hand on a sharp rock. That night, Rapunzel wrapped her hair around it, and his hand was healed. Flynn was amazed, so Rapunzel explained about her magical hair. But once it's cut, she said, it, it loses its power. They sat close together by the campfire. Flynn was starting to fall for Rapunzel. And Rapunzel liked Flynn a lot too, but could she trust him? <laughs> Meanwhile, Mother Gothel had discovered that Rapunzel was gone. She began to search for her. The next morning was Rapunzel's birthday. Flynn led her to town which was just as wonderful as the woods. She had Flynn dance and add cake, and then they took a boat to watch the lanterns. For the best day of life, I figure you should have a decent seat, Flynn said. Chill light came and glowing lanterns filled the sky. Rapunzel was so excited to see the lights. She almost tipped the boat over. I have something for you too, she told Flynn. She handed him the crown. She finally trusted him. Flynn knew what he had to do. Flynn went ashore and tried to give the crown to Stabbington brothers. But the thieves knocked him the thieves knocked him out. Then they found Rapunzel and convinced her that Flynn had given her up a fair trade. They said a crown for the girl with the magic hair. No, Rapunzel cried. She tried to run away, but she couldn't. Thumb crash! Mother Gothel rushed in. She rescued Rapunzel from the thieves. She didn't tell Rapunzel. She told the brothers to try to capture her in first place. Mother Gothel and Rapunzel, I returned to the tower. But Rapunzel couldn't stop thinking of everything she'd seen. Suddenly, all the pieces fell into place. I'm the, I'm the lost princess. She, uh, sorry, I'm the lost princess, she realized. Mother got held froze. It was you, Rapunzel, said bitterly. I should have been hiding from you. Instantly, Mother got held, stopped pretending to be nice. She tied up Rapunzel and soon Flynn came to the tower. Looking for Rapunzel, Mo Gothel heard him. Rapunzel knew she could heal Flynn with her hair. I'll stay with you, she promised Mother Gothel. Just let me save him. Swear it, Mother Gothel said. 
and Rapunzel did. Flynn refused to let Mother Gothel win. Grab a shred from a broken mirror. He sliced off Rapunzel's hair. Immediately it turned brown. What have you done? Mother Gothel shrieked. As Rapunzel's hair lost its power, Mother Gothel became very, very old. Soon she was gone. Rapunzel held Flynn tight without her hair. She couldn't heal him. He slipped away. A single tear, tear fell from the face. It landed on Flynn and began to glow. His eyes opened. The magic in her tear had saved him. Overjoyed, Rapunzel and Flynn soon went to the place. Rapunzel was welcomed by the king and queen, her real mother and father. They couldn't have been happier to have their daughter back. She wasn't the baby they'd lost anymore, but she was a lovely princess. Uh, and although Rapunzel's hair was no longer magical, she was still the most enchanting girl Flynn had ever met. Okay, this is the end of Rapunzel's story. I will see you guys in the next storytelling.